The windows always fog up in the morning. Ready to cast the lines off? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. It's like it's got bed head. Bed head. <laughs> Get up. Get school. We gotta go. Hello. Ready? Yep. Go. Ship is underway. Heading up to Canada <clears throat> this morning, and I want to make sure I have an empty waste tank. It's getting our waste up Canada. It's not as easy as the U.S. Canada doesn't, Canada doesn't have as many pump-out stations, so you end up uh, doing a lot of uh, masonry or overboard discharges three miles from shore. I don't want to do that. So we're going to empty the tank. So, so the way we empty the tank, <clears throat> um, use a suction on it. You always test, you always suction first, and then if you're gonna rinse, you take the fresh water, and then you fill the tank back up, then you pump it again. Never fill it up first until you know the pump, so always do the pump first, so start the pump. Anxious puppy. Oftentimes we do this, we'll then fill the tank up with water, not bottled water, the water they have next to the pump out, which is sticky water, which is fresh water, and then pump it out again just to rinse the tank. Halfway through the season, we'll actually like rinse it two or three times, keep it clean. At the end of every trip, we come back and empty the tank out. That's how we keep the smells and stuff down. We don't have a gauge or anything that tells us how, how full our black water tank is. It's a 30 gallon tank. What we found works for us is one person, one gallon a day. So three people on the boat, that's three gallons a day, that's 10 days. So when I get to like day seven or eight, I'm looking for a, a pump out. And then once she gets empty, then we stick it down in the water to suck up seawater and clean the hose out for the next guy. It's a very, very polite thing to do. So there we go. Get the suction going. Thank you. 
that sucks seawater up. Valve. That's it. Let me put the cap back on. I also carry a spare one of these in case I was to lose it. The chain doesn't connect because otherwise you, you wouldn't be able to use the suction. To... Oh, you use rubber gloves. Pepe, I get him morning kisses. <laughs> Wait for Pop. It's working. It's working. So we're out here on day one. Uh, we're actually uh, just a little north of Thatcher Pass, Lopez Island, on the, on the west side of us. And uh, we're heading up from Everett. Our route today is from Everett to Ganges, BC. And the reason we picked um, the reason we picked Ganges is we have to get across the border. Um, so to get across the border, um, there's a lot of things you can't take uh, as far as food, like dairy products and cheese and meats and you know, meats only if they're, you know, um, they've got to be frozen um, if you want to break across. Anyway, um, it's just, you know, produce, lettuce, and that kind of stuff. So we bring our dry goods on board, and 
Uh, our goal today is get across the border. We've got Nexus, check in to customs that way. They'll ask other questions about you know food, produce, all that. And we don't have any of that on board. And we get candies, they got a grocery store right there. We stock up and we'll get about seven to eight days worth of food um, in candies that we need. And that should get us up to Prince Rupert. And then we're going to eat it all by the time we go to Ketchikan, Gang, because once we go from Prince Rupert to Ketchikan, Gang, it's the same thing all over again. Um, so a pretty easy course today. Um, you know, for, uh, for getting from Everett to Ganges, it's basically um, from Everett, run up Saratoga Passage through Deception Pass. We actually hit it right at Slack, which is really nice. And I was trying to get away from the rush of uh, opening day shrimp season, which would be like a bazillion boats out in the water. So we missed it. We missed that chaos, which was good, and also didn't have to dodge any pots yet either, which was good. Um, once the Deception Pass, um, i got to get across Rosario Straits. Um, I usually will go Lopez Pass instead of Thatcher. I used to I mean, I used to always run Thatcher, but you got to go by Bell Rock, and if there's any kind of, of current ripping through there, Bell Rock is always choppy. And um, in all my past videos, you see me talking about the Rosario Rodeo. That's always Bell Rock. It's just always choppy there. So I've learned to go and do Lopez Pass instead because it's further south and I avoid Bell Rock altogether and it gets me back into protected water out of Rosera. Sometimes Rosera can be pretty um, pretty nasty at times too. It's a big body of water. So Lopez Pass, then we head north um, and that's where we met up with Janet because she was coming from Anacortes. So she just headed straight across Anacortes, headed due west and runs right into Thatcher, and then uh, she's actually trailing right behind us. So I was doing 25 knots um, most of the way up here, and met up with Janet, and I'm looking at fuel and time, and I'm like, I'm doing, you know, seven knots, eight miles an hour, and I've got 30 miles left to go, 30 nautical miles left to go um, to Ganges, and we'll get there at about 1250. So I don't know that I really want to burn any extra fuel. A uh, buddy of mine was in Ganji last night, sent me a text message that gas there is uh, um, like two and a half dollars a liter, and it's about four liters to a gallon. That's almost nine dollars a gallon for gas. Um, so <laughs> anywhere I can serve, I mean, you know, the, the thing with the outboard is, you know, I'm getting 2.8 miles per gallon right now, 2.9 gallons per hour, going eight miles per hour. And I've got time. I don't need to be at Ganges sooner, right? So 12:50, you know, for check-in is fine. So I think we're just going to slow boat and save some gas and get to Ganges and then uh, fill up with fuel there and provision at the grocery store and stuff. Um, and we'll so be off for the morning. Yeah, off in the morning. Hopefully, off in the morning. See what the weather does tomorrow. Today it's really gorgeous out. We had flat seas and all that coming up here. Uh, clear blue skies and everything, so... Uh
wagon ear bag. Food yeah. Quiet. Quiet. I'm gonna see if you can help me get the dogs off the boat first. Just hold that. Come on. Can you fall or something? He's like Walk really up weird. Walked up the you're hooked, buddy. Where did she go? Now for the corgi. Cut her? Mm -hmm. There's a ranger tug rendezvous here in, uh, I, think it's, I think it's next week, isn't it? What? The ranger tug rendezvous up here? Uh, yes. Yeah. We'll have our own little rendezvous with two ranger tugs today. Yeah. <laughs>